ECC using instruments of SICS. After applying the superior rectus brittle suture, conjunctival peritomy is done from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, almost 4 clock hours or 3 and a half clock hours. Tenance is cleared, mild cautery is done to get a bloodless field for making sclerocorneal tunnel. And now a V shaped incision is being made. This is one, this is another one. Just 1.5 millimeter away from the limbus. Now, as we do sclerocorneal tunnel in the same way sclerocorneal tunnel is being done. Sweep backward and to the sides. At this time, sweep backward and to the right side. Now, sweeping backward and to the left. We have to remain at one plane from one end to the other end. Size of this incision is about 10 millimeter, 5 plus 5, 10, and the inner opening will be about. 11 millimeter. This is a side port. With the keratome itself, we introduce only half of the keratome and get an adequate sized side port. Anticapsule is stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out with a Simcoe cannula. The anterior chamber is then filled off with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, with the help of a cystitome. A 26 gauze bent needle. Capsulorexis is being done. The capsule is incised, the capsular tag is raised, this capsular tag is being pushed towards 3 o'clock, and from 3 o'clock it is pulled towards 9 o'clock. Thus, we get a good rexus. This is a hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is in grade 5, and we need to do a large rexus, and we have to keep that in mind. Now, the sclerocorneal tunnel is opened inside. We cut the tissue only when we go forward. Hydrodissection is done, hard cataract, we inject small amounts of fluid at multiple points. And now we inject visco and take two hooks, two Sinsky hooks 
to prolapse the nucleus. First we rotate it and now prolapse one side of the equator, one who goes behind the other one rotates, dials the nucleus and the nucleus comes in the anterior chamber. And now we have to protect the coronal endothelium. We must inject adequate amount of visco in front and we inject some visco behind. Now this is a fish hook made from a 30 gauge disposable needle. It goes in a slant way, after going it is rotated 90 degree and the nucleus is hooked and brought out. When the wound is adequate, this is a very good technique. But if the wound is not adequate, this fish hook is not recommended. And now, this is epinucleus removed. The people has become small by this time and time now to remove the cortex. I find stro strong capsulocortical adhesions. So, gently the cortex is separated from the capsule and removed. Some cortex is still there from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. At this time, there is only ring lactate in the anterior chamber. Inject visco. After injecting visco, you can use the main wound because the anterior chamber is maintained by visco for some time. We have to be, during that time, we have to remove this cortex. The cortical cleanup is nicely done. Now the anterior chamber and the capsular bag uh, filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In this case, we are implanting a foldable intraocular lens because we did not have the proper rigid lens, rigid lens with the selected power. has been guided by the Sinsky hook. Still it is not in the bag. Yes, now it goes in the capsular bag. The other side of the lens, the other haptic is in the bag. I check with the help of this oil hook. And now I am going to put a 10 O nylon suture at the apex of this V. We can call this double SICS or we can call it VECC. SICS means small incision cataract surgery. So, it is not small incision. So, we should call it ECC, extra capsular cataract extraction, using the instruments for SICS. If we put on suture at the apex of this V, 
induced astigmatism is only 0.5 diopter. So, this is a good technique. The antechamber has been filled up with an air bubble and now I am using a straight forceps and a Macpherson's forceps. to make a knot. Two on on knot. With the help of a vana scissor, the threads are cut close to, close to the knot and the knot is buried on the scleral side. I do not like using cautery to cause shrinkage of the conjunctiva and oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. I put a releasable suture in my thinking burning cells is something that we do not pay deserved respect to the tissues, to the cells and with when we use cautery it is not 100 percent proof that it will remain there. We have to do a lot of cautery cause lot of shrinkage of conjunctiva to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus but just by a releasable knot we can do a nice apposition of the conjunctiva at the limbus where it was at its original position. The antechamber is nicely formed with the help of a simco feel the pressure, it is okay. Some more hydration is done and now the intraocular pressure is okay. This is forming the anterior chamber with the irrigation cannula on flow goes inside and now I find that the eyeball is firm, no leakage from anywhere, not from the main wound, not from the side port and we are towards the end of the surgery. This video is dedicated to my African colleagues who do extra capsular cataract surgery routinely. Please use this technique and you will need only one suture. You may put three sutures maximum, one at the apex and one more on either side more than three sutures is not necessary and if you put this releasable suture and remove this releasable suture after three days, it is fine. The case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.